Hello students, welcome to our channel Learning Notebook. In today's video, we will do part 2 of chapter Rational Numbers. In part 1, we understood closure property of rational numbers. Now, in part 2, we will learn commutative property of rational numbers. So, let's start and first see what is commutative property. Students, we have learned commutative property by learning whole numbers in previous classes. If A and B are two whole numbers, then A plus B equals to B plus A. This is called commutative property. For example, 2 plus 3 equals to 3 plus 2 and minus 6 plus 5 equals to 5 plus minus 6. So students, now let's see commutative property of addition, subtraction, multiplication and division for rational numbers. So first, let's see commutative property of rational numbers under addition. Let's understand this with help of few examples. Example number 1 is add two rational numbers 4 by 5 and 2 by 3. LCM of 5 and 3 is 15. Therefore, sum of these two rational numbers equals to 4 into 3 plus 2 into 5 by 15 which is equals to 12 plus 10 by 15. So, sum of these two rational numbers comes out to be 22 by 15. Now students, let's reverse the order of these two rational numbers and add them. Again, LCM of 3 and 5 is 15. Therefore, we get 2 into 5 plus 4 into 3 by 15, which is equals to 10 plus 12 by 15 and we get the sum as 22 by 15. So, in both the cases, the sum remains the same. Therefore, we can say 4 by 5 plus 2 by 3 equals to 2 by 3 plus 4 by 5. Let's take another example. Add rational numbers minus 8 by 3 and 7 by 2. LCM of 3 and 2 is 6. Therefore, we get minus 8 into 2 plus 7 into 3 by 6. Solve it and we get minus 16 plus 21 by 6 which is equals to 5 by 6. Now, let's reverse the order of these two rational numbers and add them. So, LCM of 2 and 3 is 6. Therefore, we get 7 into 3 plus minus 8 into 2 by 6 which is equals to 21 plus minus 16 by 6 so the com sum comes out to be 5 by 6 so students in both the cases the sum remains the same therefore we can say minus 8 by 3 plus 7 by 2 equals to 7 by 2 plus minus 8 by 3 Therefore, rational numbers are commutative under addition. Now, let's understand commutative property of rational numbers under subtraction. Let's take an example. Subtract 5 by 6 from 7 by 9. LCM of 9 and 6 is 18. Therefore, we get 7 into 2 minus 5 into 3 by 18 which is equals to 14 minus 15 by 18 and answer comes out to be minus 1 by 18. Now let's reverse the order of these two rational numbers and subtract 7 by 9 from 5 by 6. Again LCM of 6 and 9 is 18 therefore we get 5 into 3 minus 7 into 2 by 18. Solve it and we get 15 minus 14 by 18 which is equals to 1 by 18. 
So students, in both the cases, we get different answers. Therefore, we can say 7 by 9 minus 5 by 6 is not equal to 5 by 6 minus 7 by 9. And hence, rational numbers are not commutative under subtraction. Now let's move on and see commutative property of rational numbers under multiplication. First example is multiply 3 by 4 and 1 by 6. So we get 3 into 1 by 4 into 6 which is equals to 1 by 8. Now students, let's reverse the order of these two rational numbers and multiply 1 by 6 with 3 by 4. We get 1 into 3 by 6 into 4. Simplify it and we get the product as 1 by 8. So in both the cases, the answer remains the same. Therefore, 3 by 4 into 1 by 6 equals to 1 by 6 into 3 by 4. Let's do one more example. Multiply minus 5 by 7 with 1 by 2. We get minus 5 into 1 by 7 into 2 which is equals to minus 5 by 14. Now reverse the order of these two rational numbers and multiply them. We get 1 into minus 5 by 2 into 7 which is equals to minus 5 by 14. So in both the cases the product comes out to be same. Therefore minus 5 by 7 into 1 by 2 equals to 1 by 2 into minus 5 by 7. Hence students rational numbers are commutative under multiplication. Now let's see commutative property of rational numbers under division. Let's understand it with the help of an example. Divide 5 by 4 by 1 by 3 which is equals to 5 by 4 into 3 by 1. So we get 5 into 3 by 4 into 1 which is equals to 15 by 4. Now students, let's reverse the order and divide 1 by 3 by 5 by 4 which is equals to 1 by 3 into 4 by 5. Solve it and we get the answer as 4 by 15. So students, the answer is different in both the cases. Therefore, 5 by 4 divided by 1 by 3 is not equals to 1 by 3 divided by 5 by 4. So rational numbers are not commutative under division. So in this video, we learnt commutative property of rational numbers under addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then do hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel Learning Notebook and make sure to press the bell icon. Thank you. Bye-bye. See you in the next video.